Uh, in this video I wanted to take you through um, the custom code lifecycle management and how we actually get the statistics through. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start off with transaction CCLM uh, and from here uh, if we go into the library definition so over here this is downloaded from the service marketplace in a, in a SAP note uh, you upload it uh, into the CCLM and then if you hop into the settings you can actually switch on uh, the extractive framework for each of your systems. So once you pick your systems, the extractive framework is nothing more than a number of uh, batch jobs which run uh, weekly, monthly uh, and daily. So once you get the batch jobs going, um, you can have a look at the extractive framework. It will take a minute or so. So over here if you switch the filter on there's a number of extraction jobs for custom code so if you put in custom code in the filter and you'll see all the extractors here these are all the system IDs the uh, the, the stack whether it's an ABAP or, or dual stack it only custom code only works for an ABAP stack and then the status of the extractor so th these ones are in bad shape so either there's an RSC connection error or um, some other some other issue which uh, someone needs to chase up the green ones uh, are all good, so these, ex these extractors are running. If you wanted to start the extractor yourself, uh, it's a matter of uh, highlighting them, putting this thing in the change mode, and then activating them and releasing them. All right, so you can check. Obviously, you can check the log uh, and the details. All right, so once once these batch jobs run, you're gonna pull some statistics from the early watch alert reports and from the UPL, the Usage and Procedure Logging. Uh, usage Procedure Logging comes from uh, the kernel now, so all the statistics from an SAP system is pulled from the SAP kernel. So to see how to switch on uh, the SCOV, you have to go into your the UPL, you have to go into your Manage System. Alright, so once I'm in here, uh, if you type in Transaction SCOV, which is short for the Coverage Analyzer, um, you have a thing called SCOV Lite. Okay, so the, the coverage analyzer is the guy who pulls the statistics or the, the UPL, uh, the usage and procedure logging statistics, back to Solution Manager. So these statistics come back to Solution Manager to allow the CCLM to work. 